now in high definition. This is CBS 4 News. Get the whole story. Coming up, a chef from St. Julian Hotel and Spa in Boulder will join us, and he's whipping up some delicious dishes that will spice up any Easter brunch. He'll share them with you. That's coming up. Well, if you're hoping to add some last-minute pizzazz to your Easter me meal, and who isn't, right. we're cooking for some looking cooking for some ideas for you. And joining us now is Chef Laurent Machan. Did That's I right. say that right? Okay, Correct. great. It's, yeah, he is the executive chef and culinary director at St. Julian Hotel and Spa in Boulder. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Happy Easter! Great to be here. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter to you too. So, first of all, tell us what you're whipping up here. Well, this is a. Uh, a striped bass with a uh, shellfish and chorizo uh, stew that we're preparing for uh, dinner tonight at St. Julian. Mmm, smells good. This is uh, this is composed of uh, fresh seafood and a local Colorado bass. Okay. And why the striped bass? Why did you decide on that? At the St. Julian, we uh, try to focus the menu on local ingredient, source um, locally, obviously, and uh, we, uh, as much as possible, build the menus around what's in season and. Um, organic ingredients as much as possible. And since you're a food expert, what makes uh, a memorable Easter dinner? I think for um, occasion of that nature, you want to stick with tradition. I know that in my family, uh, my grandmother used to cook something similar to that. Um, this is uh, based on a southern French recipe, and we use saffron, chorizo, and this is something that, uh, like I said, we used to do every, every year. And can people still make reservations, or is it already booked at the same time? Brunch is sold out, unfortunately. Yeah, but uh, for dinner, we have we have some room available. So a lot of people uh, in my family, we always cook. There's always uh, someone cooking. But I guess a lot of people's tradition is just to go out somewhere and have somebody cook for them. Right. You can th bring the family to San Julian. Be more than happy to uh, take care of them. And is this a fairly easy meal then, do you think, for novice Absolutely. <laughs> you, you could, we have the recipe available on our, on our website and uh, also with uh, more menu information on uh, jillsdying.com. Mm -hmm. And feel free to uh, replicate the recipe. Well, let's just go over it just a little bit. We'll go over the recipe and then, and then how you do it. Well, we started with, um, with the shellfish. We have clams and mussels. Mm, okay. And we uh, sauteed that with a little um, fresh garlic and olive oil. Mm. And then we added our vegetables, which are um, shallots, carrots and leeks. Steam that with a little bit of the white wine and the saffron broth. Mm -hmm. And uh, finish with a little bit of olive oil, some fresh ground pepper. Okay, so, and you have uh, some very lovely desserts here as oh, well. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, this, these dishes are all part of our Earthy Delight our menu offering for the months of April in Jill's. Mm -hmm. and, um, they're again based on season and uh, local um, product as much as possible. We have a. I'm gonna show this here. What is this? Roasted beet and watercress salad with uh, local goat cheese and okay. uh, honey black peppercorn vinaigrette. Okay. It just looks so pretty. I'm, I bet Thank it you. tastes really good, but it really looks. That's the good best part too. is the taste. Yes, exactly. And then you have some cheesecake over here. We have a. Uh, it's a carrot cheesecake, which is the best of both both mm. worlds, with a little carrot mousse and a pumpernickel. Uh, ice cream, which will be served on Easter dinner also tonight at Jill's, and uh, a lemon basil infused semifreda with berry compote. And a lot of people, like me, they gave up sweets for Lent, so we're ready to pig out. What do you think is the most popular dessert item for you guys? Uh, well, we'll tell you at the end of the night. We'll see. <laughs> it's going to be tight. All right. Okay, well, thank, thank you so much. Chef. Yeah, My thanks. Pleasure. Thanks for Good coming this morning. And if you'd like to try Chef Laurent's uh, Easter recipe, we have posted a link in the links and info section of CBS4Denver.com.